Hi everyone, welcome to a brand new video. I hope everyone is doing okay uh, with the current circumstances. I uh, just had a message to share, so I wanted to take just a few minutes to just pass it across to uh, relay it. And I want to send away my love and best wishes to all of you. I hope you're doing okay. I know it's not an easy period. We all have ups and downs. It seems to be that some days are um, easier to manage than others. Some days we're more positive, some days it just it hits us in waves, okay? It's something I've noticed from, from life and something I've noticed also from the world around. Um, really in waves in terms of awareness. Some days we believe just a little more, some days we believe just a little less. Hopefully you're staying away from the news, staying away from information that is not necessary to your evolution at the moment um, and will only curtail whatever progress you're making. Um, what I wanted to share today is a message that I got from God a few days ago. Um, I have a couple of announcements afterwards, including the meditation on the 18th, which is important. Um, the first of the first part of the message is relevant, and I'm sorry if the sound is not great. I'm just upstairs. There's just a lot of wind at the moment. I'm doing my best with the, techno the technology available, but we are in Oaxaca in a rural area, so you know here is what we can work with. Uh, thanks for your patience and your understanding. Um, the mess, the essence of the message that I received was. After asking the question, what happens after all this is over? Like, what, what, what will be the change left in the world? And of course, you know, guidance will never give you a very, very concrete answer in these situations because they don't want you to have any expectations and they want you to work on your own evolution instead of sitting and waiting for things to happen. Um, the basic answer that I received was simple. When we're all left to our own wits, and this, is the, this has to do with the isolation part of the lockdown that we're seeing globally, we have to confront certain parts of our psyche. The world after this is over, or after this attenuates and reach some kind of um, balanced period of time in our new history, I don't think things will be the same. The superfluous will be gone. The fact that people are under lockdown, the fact that people are sitting in their houses, forces them to sit with themselves. And a lot of the times we go out and we uh, we are you know more gregarious and we go out and we drink and we we basically distract ourselves from doing any inner work. And this basically forbids you from doing that. It forces you to be within your closed walls, even if you're with another period, uh, another person, sorry, and you're confronted with things that come up on their own. And this is part of the energetic nature of all of this. Okay, And this is for the best. We can agree that just from looking at the world and seeing a lot of our leaders and politicians, that people don't like to take responsibility for themselves. Okay, And we can see also from the world the the propagation of social media and the the, 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 spend, the time we spend watching the lives of other people and so on and so forth, that we like to be distracted from our own, uh, you know, concentration or on our own demise, so to speak. Um, so this is the change that we need to make. So this is a force, this was forcibly change humanity in terms of sitting down. My guidance gave me a very simple example. Um, just as, you know, I have many acquaintances and friends that are losing their jobs in the States. Uh, the understanding that you have a job, for example, an employment, and you consider it to be a sphere of life, something you do more than a job, more than something to pay the bills. And something like this happens and you find out that you're expandable. You're not something that is integral to the growth of the company or anything like that. And therefore, you understand that the amount of energy you put in, the amount of love or whatever, even if you love, you know, your work, uh, was not really relevant to your growth. And your guidance and life wants you to take a different direction. You don't have to understand what it is at the moment, but you have to recalibrate. So there may be a prospect of, how do we call this, de-urbanization on the long term from this. A lot of uh, companies, a lot of things are already, you know, some, people, some companies are filing Chapter 11s, bankruptcy and so on. What is not essential will, will wither away. Some other companies, some other governmental entities and stuff will, will remain, even if they are essential or not. But there will be a great filtering act. Okay, what is necessary at this point. And I really believe that as an individual sitting also in a lockdown situation, along with the 7.8 or 8 billion other people out there, uh, hopefully who are following the measures, we will be able to investigate within ourselves what really matters. And therefore, we'll be able to exact the changes that are necessary. Okay. I think this is a, a very, very welcome change. We've been um, burning the candle at both ends in terms of, you know, burning out in terms of work, of the economy. We've been chasing uh, pursuits that are not relevant to our growth, that are not relevant to the planet. 
This obviously gives planet Earth a break. She can actually breathe for once. You see species of monkeys and animals just repopulating areas that were abandoned. So that's a positive. You had a in uh, Tulum here, here in Mexico, you had some crocodiles invading, uh, what do we call this, populated areas as they hadn't done for I don't know how many years. There was a jaguar in an abandoned hotel, and trust me, you don't see jaguars ever, especially in populated areas. So there is a positive aspect to all of this for Mother Earth, and it's a, a revaluation of our core beliefs. If the economy crumbles a bit, and this is the sad thing for me, is to see that a lot of emphasis is put on that, I don't believe it matters so much. I believe we can recover as long as we're healthy and we're in you know same body with the same mind. We have some food on the table and roof over our heads, and we can manage that in different ways. We've been chasing the money train for too long, so therefore, it gives everybody a reevaluation. If you live in New York City and you covet a you know a big house and this and that and the other, that's a lifestyle, and you may kill yourself to get there. You may get there, you may not. But if this happens to you and you lose everything. You may realize that it's better to move up, move up to the Catskills and live a quiet life in the countryside without any of this bullshit, superfluous stress, and just have a normal life and connect with nature for once, once in a while, instead of the concrete jungle. These are just thoughts, but I think the aftermath is a good thing. It's going to be a bit like when you graduate high school, you have that period of time where you don't know what the hell you're going to do with yourself. Um, you know, even the summer months, you're a bit uh, dazed and confused. That's, that's what it's going to feel like. I'm already seeing the effects. That's what was conveyed by guidance. Small details will come, of course. Uh, I do have a channeling message from the Arcturians and from Source that's coming very, very soon. Um, let me actually release it before this video, we shall see. Um, don't quote me on that. Now, in regards to the announcements, um, this is important, so stay tuned. Thank you for you know staying, uh, watching the video for this far. We have a, a group meditation, uh, global meditation, sorry, on the 18th, Different times, there's a Hong Kong time, there's an American time, and a European time. Um, the point of the meditation is to work on the psyche of humanity and to be able to alleviate some of the fear. There's too much fear and fear mongering around. It affects humanity, psyche, humanity as a, as a singular consciousness. And it's our job to be able to tap in there like Neo, you know, plugging into the matrix or I don't know, Inception, going into the matrix as well, again, of consciousness and helping to alleviate some of the fear by helping the, the psyche of humanity understand why it has invited all this situation about. Okay, that's the first thing. Um, the second announcement is, of course, check out the website. We have, uh, I've made a new focus on sessions on addiction, uh, abuse and narcissism, narcissistic parents, narcissistic lovers, and so on. It's indigolightlove.com. Those are specialized things that may interest you. We can, you know, I have a special modality that I use in regards to that. We can work together if you're interested. Uh, of course, subscribe to the channel and share share the videos, share the group meditation, check out our Facebook. We have a new social media coming up very soon. I'm going to keep it a surprise. And of course, if you resonate, I invite you to check out in the description, uh, supporting us on Patreon. You'll have access to different contents, events, past events, all of these things included in the Patreon package. Um, and you will be able to connect in a deeper way. And of course, you can message me and I'll, I'll always answer. Um, that's it. You can send me an email at indigolight222 at gmail.com. If you have any questions, it's indigolight222 at gmail.com. And of course, we have a donation uh, portion in the description of the video if you feel so inclined. Thank you, and I wish you the best.